I'm gonna do a blue black build I think I'm gonna aim for pirates and I'm definitely gonna put in the cutlass uh, in the deck because I've got at least two pirates uh, and then we'll take it from there I'm also gonna go for treasures to treasure for uh, for uh, for treasure artifact uh, so at least those three are gonna go in already and it's a blue black deck so I see some other artifacts that I can put in and I'll revisit them as I progress with the build so definitely I've got four artifacts that are going in I've got the my gigantic bomb etherworks marvel and um, and I think I'm gonna try to see if I can also use some energy get some energy beyond things that are gonna go in my graveyard but things gotta go in my graveyard um, I gotta figure that out uh, and then in this case this guy which I have two uh, is gonna create tokens and it gets plus one plus one for each artifact I control so uh, I'm gonna want to have lots of artifacts uh, and that means that yeah I'll probably end up picking all the other artifacts just so I can have um, actually I'm already gonna do that right now I'm gonna put this this and this in there and these are this is the largest number of artifacts that I can have with the cards that I have in the toolkit so I'm already starting off with seven non-creature spells that, they, that must be in the deck and then two creatures so let's uh, build on that let's go through blue and pick creatures out and see how many pirates we get or I mean and I'm saying pirate only because they hopefully will create uh, oh this this guy creates a token no that's not what I want I want I want treasure tokens so I want as many uh, treasure tokens as possible of course the the toolkit comes with this gigantic flyer which is awesome and I'm just gonna take it I'm not gonna think about it so those are my creatures in blue. I want to verify that I did indeed pick up creatures. Put them in that little pile right there and do the same for um, for black. It'll be nice if I can have treasure tokens from pirates and energy from anything that I pulled out of the lone Kaladesh pack. I don't think this deck, uh, I'm not going to use the Nightmare because it's it really goes on the number of uh, swamps and this is not a mono blue deck. I, I think Destroy Target non uh, Mirrorfolk uh, Creature is a great card. I think I already know I want it. But I'm doing the creatures right now. I'm going to try to go fast in these builds. Um, okay, so did I pick as many the creatures that I needed one? I don't really have that many black creatures, do I? Well, I, I think I do. Okay, so none of those are creatures, that's fine. Uh, Alright, so let's get to our creatures and let's put them in uh, energy piles. Yeah. I mean, not energy piles, but just one, two, three, four heavy. And again, we're, we're not doing a commander build, so we're going to get as many creatures as we can of any creature. If we have four of them, even better, especially if they're good. I don't see any. Oh, there, at least I have one one drop. Man, I was wondering if I was going to have any one drops in this build. Again, we're in blue-black, so that does happen. It means that we're taking this dude no matter what. Counter something, so that's fine. Um, we're not playing Merfolk. Um, and when are, are we? I don't know. This guy is good. This pirate is good. Uh, this guy is good too. I want him. I want him the other pirate. Uh, can't attack unless you control an artifact. Yeah, I'll take him. Um, when it dies, uh, create a, a token, a treasure token. That's good. So yeah, we're going to take the pirates and not take the merfolk. Prowess, yes, very good. Um, see how many we have of each of these. Yeah, so we have two and two. When it enters the battlefield, type target creature. Yeah, why not? 
and uh, this guy does tokens when it enters the battlefield, so yeah, treasure tokens. Um, it's fine. Tokens. Target opponent discards a card. These are all good, actually. I want them all. Um, yeah, cycle or discard. I'm not sure that I'm discarding, so I'm not going to take it. I want the flyer, I want the flyer, and I want, if it exports, that's fine, and I need I need creatures. This, this As you can see, uh, this deck is very creature lacking. So I've got three, six, nine, ten, three, six, nine. So I have 19 creatures. This is almost a blue-red deck. With 19 creatures, I definitely want to take something uh, yeah, I want to take the mirror folk. I do, and hopefully uh, it'll be a, it'll get a flyer when I draw the mirror folk, and then uh, it'll get plus one plus one from the, these mirror folk when it enter when they enter, and if not, they're just filling a slot, and that's what will happen with a small deck. You know, trying to build a deck out of a toolkit, especially a full constructed one. So four, eight, twelve. 16, 20, 22. So we're going to go for 14 non creatures. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. 22, 23, 24, 25. Oh, that's even better. I'm sorry. I'm just being, I'm not being that smart, am I? Uh, so I, that means that I can take out, uh, I can take out the Merfolk. I don't need them. Sorry, Merfolk. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 22. Okay, that's better. So now I need 14 non-creature spells, or 12, or 10, or 8, or 7. So I need 7 non-creature spells. Definitely this dude. Um, definitely that dude. Create, yeah, creating, I have enough pirates, oh, and I want to do that, and I want to do that, huh, this is better than the rest, and I don't think I need two of those, uh, do I need to walk the planks? got a really good selection of black non-creature spells. Uh, I want this guy and I want this guy. Spell pierces are pretty good too. I don't want to return anything to anywhere. Um, Man, lots of card draw that I can have in this deck. And I can really... I can really do good stuff with this. Okay, so that's a really good selection of uh, spells. Do I really need that many tokens? I mean, that many artifacts? Uh, I guess I do, but I really want to take one out. And I think, I think I want to take this one out. So I'm down to six, and I said I needed 14, so I got to pick eight from here. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 15. I need to pick out seven. Uh, this guy is really good. Um, this is modal, I really like it. I would like this if I can, and I would like this if I can, but I gotta have this, and I gotta have tokens. And I think having... Not, I'm gonna split it in half since I don't know who I'm gonna face and just take one, but I definitely want one of these. Uh, in case, you know, they have mirror folk. I, I would be fighting somebody uh, in this kind of game, in this setup, your friend, my friend, my son, somebody, would have a toolkit and they'd be making the same uh, types of decisions that I'm making. 
All of these cards are good. And I've got three of these. And they're four drops. And I need my treasure tokens. Uh, so I want all three. Even though these are good. Um, and these are good. I said I needed. So I picked. I don't have 14. I have six. So I need eight. Three. Six. You know, that's this is it. This is what I must have in this deck because I'm riding on treasure tokens and pirates. Uh, I'm sorry to say I don't have any means by which to get uh, a lot of energy for my uh, Ether uh, Works Marvel. Um, where is it? I don't have enough. Uh, easy generation and I don't have enough ways where I'm dropping things in my graveyard uh, because Etherworks Marvel gets triggered on a permanent you control is put into a graveyard these guys are not gonna go to the graveyard uh, this one's not either um, this one this one and this one so these two will go um, this is not putting anything in my graveyard. This, these guys are. So when I play them, so I have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have ten things that can end up in the graveyard. So um, that's not bad. You can sacrifice a creature with this dude, so things can go in the graveyard thanks to it. But I'm definitely creating lots of treasure tokens, which is good. Um, so yeah, I think I think I'm good. I think this deck is gonna be fine. Uh, and uh, unlike the previous deck, which had a preamble. I can take a little more time and even lay it all out and see what the curve looks like and even go through the cards. So this is a blue-black, mostly pirate. Um, it's got lots of heavies. It's got lots of heavies and not enough four drops, but it's fluid enough, I think. It's fluid enough. Two one drops, three, six, nine, two drops, three, six, nine, thirteen, three drops. That's okay. And uh, two four drops. Now, with Etherworks Marvel, you can cast something for nothing, so that's not bad. Yeah, that works. You've got a lot of five drops. Um, and even some six drops. Um, I'm not sure these three cards are the wisest cards to have here. Um, I'm gonna rethink them and I'm gonna put in I'd rather counter spell and it ends in the graveyard and I wanna draw some cards. Um, I, don't, I don't wanna do this. Um, I think I want to do these three and get rid of these three. These are just too heavy. Just too heavy. They're good. I really want them and I need the treasure tokens. But I need to have a play, a game that I can play. And I need more one drops and I need to counter more spells and exile stuff. Even at five. So I think this is a better deck. Uh, it's got a lot of counter spells. It can, it's got artifacts. So yeah, let's just go through the cards. Um, Zoom in. Hold on a little. I'm gonna hit the tripod. There we go. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna have ways to counter spells early game. I'm gonna be a little bit aggressive. I really wanted to take those five drops out. They look great, but not even one of them is gonna help me. Um, then a flyer. Then something that I can sack 
and uh, I can, it draws me a card and I can sack it for ether works at some point I can counter spell I can hit something when this dies I get a token so I can and I have a sack outlet and I'm gonna be fighting I'm gonna be in battle anyways I have enough artifacts for this dude um, I can look at somebody's uh, hand and pick something with this. That's great. And I can do it twice in this deck. This guy is fantastic. I got two of these because I need artifacts and I'm playing enough pirates anyways. Uh, I can sack this. Can I? Does it sack? No. No, it doesn't. I was wrong. Uh, modal, modal, picking something in somebody's uh, hand, that's good. More modal, I'm, I'm really liking Hour of Devastation. Hmm, I like that a lot. It reminds me of uh, Fate Reforged with all those modal spells. Uh, two of these dudes, um, opponent can discard, 